Hello everybody, this is Bones. Uh, today we're doing Neon Struct. Uh, now this is by Studio, who has done a few other games that I have enjoyed. Um, and what I like about this game is that uh, this one here is, to me, one of his best. I, I think years ago I played uh, this. Actually, eh. I do normal for every game. I told y'all. Uh, for one thing, you can appreciate the nice neon colors here. We are going to look and see our objectives. Uh, infiltrate the country club, read the guest book to find the location of the dead drop, collect intel from the dead drop, print a bug in the bedroom of the presidential suite, return to insertion point. Now, that said, some things that I would like you all to know. For one thing, this is, um, okay, let's take a look here and see what our stuff is. Very important, interact as F instead of E, because you can lean left and right. And I'm leaving it like that because, dun dun dun, this is a stealth game. Now some of you love these, some of you hate these, but I do get a lot of requests for stealth games, and uh, I'm not great at stealth games, so... You probably all enjoy them because they uh, help make fun of me. Maybe you like to laugh, I don't know. But I, I you know, look, supply and demand, baby. You all request it, I do it. Um, so there we go. Now, I believe at the bottom there, that is my visibility meter. As you can see, we are not visible right now. You play somebody who is a secret and covert person. Oh, that's right, I forgot I could mantle onto things, which I like about this game. So you can see here, you play Jillian Cleary. Hello? Hello, Agent Cleary. I see you just landed in Austin. Shall I brief you on the mission? Uh, yes, please. I could use it, please. Okay. Uh, the agency has dispatched you to Wayfair Club in Austin, Texas, to gather intelligence. The clubhouse will be host to a political summit next week, and a handful of guests have already tripped in. The mission is twofold. Uh, collect intel from a dead drop and plant a bug in the presidential suite. I feel like that's always, like, spy work, is you always need to plant the bug, right? Am I wrong there, guys? Um... I also don't quite remember what the cash and credit thing here is. Um, but I guess I'll find out, won't I? And I believe that's my health. Tell me about the dead drop. One of the ghosts is an informant who has signaled his intent to transfer secret documents via the dead drop. He was unable to provide the dead drop location in advance, but offered to leave a coded message. <gasps> in the clubhouse's guest book to indicate the chosen location. Your objective is to read the clubhouse guest book, find the dead drop, and transmit the that intelligence to us. Um, tell me about my claimant. It looks like you're traveling light for this mission. All you've been issued today is your Hudson. Hudson, short for heads up display and surveillance operations network, is a top of the line wearable tech kit. It monitors your vital signs and illumination level, identifies threats, and is even a hands free mobile phone. You're talking to me through it right now. Also, following you via the agency tracking device implanted in your forearm. With it, we can pinpoint your current location. <sighs> To within two meters. Thanks for the sales pitch. We're not anything else. You normally be carrying a break in tool, but you dropped yours and three stories up on to concrete during your last mission. Well, that was clumsy of me. Don't remind me. The purchase order for a new bit should be approved by the time you return. For now, you'll have to bypass the electronic lock the old fashioned way, but swiping key cards from pockets. Thanks, I'm ready to go. Okay, after you completed your objectives, good luck. Uh, now, I remember nothing at all about this game, actually. Um, if you guys like this one, by the way, I will do another one of his Slayer Shock, which is a little controversial, actually, because some... Uh, he finished it, some fans like the way it is finished, some fans feel like he should have done more, or could have done more with it, but as he said, it was not a top seller at the time, so the funds needed to fix things and, and sink more time, we don't know that. Basically it was lack of motivation by lack of funds. Which, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a 
Uh, I'm not one of these guys, so I, I don't know, you know. I can imagine that would not be good to have. I don't know if I should even... We're not even going to close the door. Let's just get the hell out of here. Although I probably should close that door, do you guys think? I'm trying to leave everything as is, as much as I possibly can. So that, like for example, now I want to watch and observe for a minute. Make sure there's nobody coming that way. Oh god, I don't like this dude. I am horrible at stealth games. I used to be really good. Like at Tenchu, I was the shit. Okay, do you guys see him? God, get out of the way. Lean, lean. Remember, we got lean. Well, we don't have the drug lean, but I'm saying we got... We can lean. We have the option to lean. So here's how we're going to work this. Is we're going to hide behind here. Please don't tell me you're coming this way. Okay. We, what do you guys think? How are we doing here? I'm trying to basically learn his schedule of movement. Just... Why did I just shush you all? Like you guys are fucking with me, right? So it seems to walk there and then just straight back. Oh my god. Oh my god, there's another dude there. He was not there. Is he coming here? No, that's a different guy. That's a different fucking guy. Okay. I don't like that at all. I feel like one of these guys, I would like to not be seen by any of them, but how far can they see me as well? Well, that's some shit, isn't it? I kind of feel like the odds are stacked against me right now. I'm not going to lie to you all. And I will tell you why. Because I feel like... He's going to be my best bet. What do you guys think? Fuck. Their visibility is way too high. It's almost nothing when Ninja Gaidan comes down here. Now that looks like a dark area. Maybe I can skedaddle tackle somebody and get some shit off them but I also feel like the more people I skedaddle tackle the worse so I'm trying to do this as stealth-tastic as I can guys if I need to reset the mission I'll reset it this is a go fuck me wrong way wrong way uh, low game low game Okay, so, no game. We're not doing that now. Yes, I know. And now we're going to do all this. No thanks, I got it. Um, which I do appreciate that they at least let me do that. Now let's duck. Okay. So that guy to the right is not my way in. I think what I'm going to need to do is take out the other guard for one thing, because she makes me a little nervous and I think she gets too damn close. In my opinion, guys. So we're going to go here. You'll see what I'm going to do. Right, right? You see how it's dark here? Well, the zoom is handy. Now, I like that this has this 80s, um, I want my MTV look. I guess is what I'd call it. So, I'm actually curious to see, again, if I can get Queen Bitch to come back here, turn around, and I'm just going to tackle her. And try and leave the body, and eliminate one of these out of the way. I don't envy the idea of doing this if it goes wrong but I don't think it will because I have zero visibility okay so 
going to drop this here where nobody can see. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, the sound of that, like, dump was funny. I don't want to sprint at all, frankly. Not at all. Now, this guy here, uh, I'm going to try and take out. He's my next. He's actually the last one I'm going to try and take out. And I think you all can appreciate what I'm trying to do here. Whether or not I can actually get this done is a different matter. First of all, let's see if I alert him if I do that, and I don't. So that's good. So we're going to kind of sneak around here. Um, I should say, I hope you guys appreciate the face mask today. I, I figured if I'm going to play a stealth game, I should do like a ninja face mask. What do you guys think? You're liking this one? You're not? Drop your comment below. Uh, do you guys have a favorite face mask I wear, actually? Let me know. What is your favorite face mask that you see me in? Is it the normal bones one? Is it this one? Um... Is it the New Bones one? The New Bones one, I call. Is the American Flag one? Is it the Skull Mask? Uh, we call him um, Jolly Roger. So, Space Cat, let me know what one you guys like best that I wear. I'm curious. Or even the Cowboy one. <laughs> or the Neon Skull. I'm sure you guys have seen me do the Neon Skull one a few times. So let me know what one you guys like that I wear the most. I am curious to find out what one that is. Alright, I've not had to take out any other security here. I like that. I'm confident. However, there is a guy up there who looks like he is guarding something. So what I need to do, and I'm betting any money this asshole's got a key card. I don't want to rush and screw anything up. So instead we're going to do it this way. And try and drop my visibility as quickly as I can. Um, I do like that they worked in that a HUD in this is a device instead of just a device. I think in the future I would like to have them. Um, tokens may be thrown to distract guards. Okay. Close. I also think that's a cool thing in this game, by the way. Um, I will say one thing, if I remember right, this is also the guy who did, if you remember, uh, uh, sweet Jesus, I know he did Slayer Shock, but he also did uh, Eldritch, I believe, which was a great Lovecraftian little title that actually also incorporated some stealth and some skills and leveling and, and roguelike elements and had a lot going on for it. I really enjoyed that one. I think that one was great. So, uh, a very inventive developer here. If you get one title by him, I would see if you like roguelikes a lot that are not easy, Eldritch is a recommendation. If you like stealth games, Neon Struct is good, and even the soundtrack for this is excellent. Um, there's a song on it called Cave Living that I like quite a bit. It sounds a lot like Mystery Skulls. So if you like them, you'd like that song. Um, it's in the trailer for this. It's a song in the trailer. But yeah, there's a... And just think, guys, we're on the first mission. But... Bones is thorough, baby. Thorough. You gotta be stealthy, right? It's the name of the Atari game. It's stealth. That's louder than I'd like it to be. Did I miscalculate? Did I get too cocky? Fuck me running. I know there's a dude, like, right over there. Let's see. Let's see over there. So what happens if I just open the door? Will he walk in to check it? I feel like some of them, I want to see if I remember right, the AI is smart enough and that's where it adapts. So if it notices things like doors open, it'll change route and check like rooms that are open now. Um, 
it does do some tricky things, that much I remember. And like I said, I played this a while ago, um, it's been a while, so don't quote me on everything for it, but I remember being quite impressed with what I played. And again, I suck at these, so it's not like this was my forte, but... We're gonna see if I'm right or wrong. He's headed back, so we are headed in. And from there, we're gonna close the door on him. And get low. It's a key card. Yes. So we've got to keep. I cannot be the only set of footprints there. This is too low. Let's turn this up a little. I don't think you guys can hear this well. Okay. Shit, I don't really want to. There. Let's change the visibility in here. Read the guest book. On the seat beneath my standards. The nightstand in Sweet One is stocked with good reading materials. The Sweet One. This is my dead drop, probably. So let's let's do that. Um, now I do want to address a few things as well here about his other game, Slayer Shock. I enjoyed it. Some people did not. I did. Um, I would like to see eventually him go back. There's one glaring inconsistency about it that I think could be improved that would greatly enhance the game. It's my own personal cavat. So I can't really say it's a necessity or something that everybody needs to worry about. If you're comfortable with the game and you like it, good. All the more reason to play it. Um, if you haven't got a chance to try any of minor key stuff, then let me tell you, you can certainly do a lot worse than going and picking yourself up a copy of uh, that game. It's quite fun. Shit. Get the fuck out of there real quick. Lovely when you open a door, and I forgot that was the front door, and there's a security guy right there. This is a stealth game, what are you doing? Come on, Bones, get your shit together. Those footsteps are getting so loud, I do not like that. Uh, are you guys like me, man? Are you get, do you get, like, jumpy in stealth games when the footsteps are... Whatever visual clue or audio clue they give you in that particular game, whenever you like know the person's coming, get a little tense. Um, and like I said, if you guys like these, I'll do more of these, let me know, because there's a few other ones that I would like to do for you guys that I've been waiting on. This is one. There are a few other ones that I would like to do as far as the stealth genre as well that I own. Um, and we're going to do a part two of another game as well, see, since I finished one series, uh, we're going to do another one. Now, there's a reason I want her out of the way, frankly, and it's for one thing, she's pissing me off. Two, you get a better score if you don't even deal with any of them. If you're like a ghost, you get the best score. I suck at stealth games where I always have to take out one or two people. Are you one of those people who are, like, immaculate? Can you just go through like a ninja and not even be seen? You just float? If so, please, by all means, share with me some pointers, some tips. Train me. I will be your Jedi uh, Padawan. Make me better at stealth games, guys. Give me some tips. Let's see if we can get me to be a better player at stealth games. I, I will gladly listen to every single tip you give me. And you, this is no joke. I will gladly listen to every single tip you give me for a stealth game. Because I'm fascinated by them and I enjoy them. I just suck at them. That's as honest as I can be about it. There's no great excuse. It's just on my own ineptitude. Um, we're going to close that for now. Just so that I know kind of what's what. Uh, I do wish 
But I think somewhere there's a device that allows me to, like, mess with the brightness of something, if I am correct. That's sweet, too. These are very exclusive suites, you can tell, since there are only two on this floor. These are for rich folk. Now, in real life, I, I think that that is something that kind of happens, I do believe. Um, I'm checking just to make sure this room does not have a trap laying in wait for me. We're also going to turn off the lights, because I don't want lights on. And anything that I go check or do, because the more people that see me, the worse... Uh, I think that is. This is a stealth game. Why would I want lights on? I'm going to check some things, though. I can flush the toilet. Um, is that me, or is that something that almost feels like a luxury when you get to do it in games, because nobody ever thinks of it? Am I wrong there? So it's a USB hidden inside a hollowed out Bible. Interesting. Interesting. So, I need to get that to a, a different area, of course. I need to get that to, uh, where was my, okay, so plant a bug in the presidential, uh, the bedroom of the presidential suite. We're going to save it here, since we have done some of these, even though I have, will not have the best score, I don't care, we're just, I'm running through it honest, you know, if I suck at this part and I get a shitty score, that's on me. But at least I know. We're going to close this room now. So it looks like I haven't been there. I feel like that's the one thing that I see that, that drives me nuts in spy movies is when, like, a spy will go through and mess up a whole room. And everybody's just like, oh, that's so normal. Like, no, dude, did you not notice? Am I the only one that yells at the DTV during that? Or the, you know what the worst one is that irks me? And maybe you guys feel the same way. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Do you guys... Does it drive you anybody else nuts when... Say, for example, CSIs. Any of them, right? Uh, no. Well, I can't say CSIs, but... In a lot of those older, like, uh, detective shows, right? Am I the only one who gets a little annoyed that they don't seem to ever do more with trying to wear gloves or they just grab evidence or even like killers in movies or spies they wipe the gun off but then they forget to wipe everything else off and they're not wearing gloves is that just me? any of you guys feel that way too? does it make you like what in the fuck are you doing? because I know for me it drives me crazy you know, I'm probably nitpicking here, but uh, that's just the way I feel, frankly. I feel like, well, this level is a bit of a cakewalk, but I think it's supposed to be. We're also going to go through here and try and make sure that I am... Shit, dude, I do not like how close this sounds. Alright, so there's the guy that we did not take down earlier. I don't think he can see me fully. I'm trying to make sure he cannot. I'm going to be honest with you, I think these windows will hinder me. I think, like, i got to watch that. Oh, fuck me running. I don't have the presidential key card, which means i got to get it from one of these hand bones. I bet you any money it's that hand bone down there. Right there. So let's go down there and collect ourselves a key from a hand bone. You're wondering why I'm calling him a ham bone. It's actually an old internet meme based on a radio personality named Ghost. I'm not even going to be responsible for any of that. Listen to that stuff at your own. Uh, look, listen to that stuff on your own, right? That's all I'm saying. Guy's got quite a foul mouth and. Uh, Probably not the nicest example of a human being who gets along with a lot of other people. So, not somebody I would recommend daily listening. That's just me. I will say I think that the footstep thing here is interesting. Because I do feel like the dynamic there... Come on, please don't know I'm here. Shit, 
I did not get it from his body. <laughs> Although I did sumo toss him like nothing, so... This lady clearly eats her Wheaties. She does not fuck around. Alright, so uh, now at this point we are outside the hotel again actively and we are putzing around. I don't know what we're doing. Um, I guess I'm just gonna do some ass kicking and hope to god I can pickpocket the key I need. Uh, somebody, this guy is far enough away where uh, he's not gonna see me right away. Now they see um, in a series of ways. And you'll see what I mean. They sense by hearing and seeing. If I remember, it's more than just seeing, it's hearing too, so... You really do need strategy when dealing with these guards. As, uh, as, uh, the designer has pointed out, the more you run... Let's just be honest and call it what it is, the more fucked you are in this game. I'm trying to see where the light... How far with the light I can get to before he's gonna notice me at all. Because he moves quicker than the other ones, I feel. Am I wrong there, guys? I don't think I am. See ya. That most recent save. Alright, so. We are gonna have to think of a different strategy, because I cannot follow him all the way there if he comes too close. So, what am I going to do, guys? I ask you. We're going to go down here. And then go down here. And hope he does not. I should probably be watching him, eh? This is another one there, too. So I need to find a way to take out one of these T-100s without the other one watching me. I don't know why I expected a different outcome. Alright. I like the I like the punchy ass music of right. I feel like maybe taking the other guy out first would have been better, right? But hey, maybe I have a better idea. This is gonna be sneaky. I think we're gonna sneak up and get right next to him without him knowing. If I can. I'm going to try it. And I think you all know what I'm doing. I think you all can see this. This is an advanced ninja move. Do not try this if you are not wearing a mask like mine. Because you got to be on the level with your ninja skills, baby. This is advanced ninja right here. Now, I don't like that I'm that visible even. But look, i got to do what I can, man. This guy is kicking the ever-loving shit out of me. Several times. So I feel like... One, this is going to let me know how much he can see me. Now if he walks down here, but she doesn't. So he comes around here, and then walks that way. So this is my best step to catching him. Is when he walks this way and it gets loud. I don't know what I was expecting. Almost, guys. Almost. I know some of you are like, you dumb mother. And you're correct. 
You're correct. And this is a better, much better way to do this. It's a slow ass way, but look. I'll be honest, I'd rather leave no surviving security that can fuck with me than. Uh, although I don't remember, but I think maybe the security are only like down for a certain amount of time as well. I might be wrong there. But I want to say I believe that's the case. Because I think, didn't I not come out earlier? Dick. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. On to our last. Guys, somebody's got to have a fucking key, right? Am I wrong here? Can I get an A man, people? Oh god. Alright. So basically, we're here. Yeah, I'll see what I did there, eh? No razzle dazzle. And I do, I think uh, the bodies don't stay down forever because I'm pretty sure that other guy there that I just, uh, I know one of the other people I dropped is back. You can see it in there, can you? Through the window. Somebody's gonna find him, but I don't really give a shit at this point. I'm just trying to get this shit done. So, here's where we're at now. Door open. Residential suite. Hoping for the best. That's basically it. Now just think, this is one mission. Um, mind you, this is a stealth game. Most of you will try to get past the guards, and that's fine too, without kicking their ass. But the first mission, I feel like, I'm gonna do horror one. Um, I don't really care. I'm still trying it this way. Shit. I tell you now, I feel like this is. I don't like this. I feel like there's somebody else in there. There, fucking. Are you kidding me? Let's see if I can get them to look in there. Curious to see if they'll open the door. Yep, they will. But they close again. Holy. Scary people. Scary. Turn around. Through 
three people in there. This is quite a harder mission. I did not expect this. And no, we're not looking right now at something. There are people up and everywhere. All right, y'all, come on in. Trying to buy my time and figure out what I should do here, guys. Those two there are bad news, yes. But if I knock them off, I could at least have a little wiggle room. The big problem was this one. That will not leave the room. They have to go regardless. Jackson Jackson music, baby. Alright, so. I would say this at a very unfortuitous time. And I may have to do this just a little earlier. We're gonna see. We're gonna keep going, we're gonna keep trying options and see if I can get to like a dark corner here. So now I know one or two things that I need to do. That is where they're not sure what they saw. This is why I suck at stealth games, everybody. Right here. I really just should not have even picked this room yet, should I? gives me a little darkness. So we're not going to move. It's not enough darkness. Alright. What is the lowest? Not my lucky day, guys. Not my lucky day. Thank <laughs> you. 
F105. See you, bitches. <laughs> this is gone all wrong. Guys, all wrong. I need to get the fuck out of Dodge now. This is gonna be a horrible, horrible first mission score. You guys are not proud of me, I know. I'm sorry. There's no way that was good at all. That was horrible. But I did what I could do. And I did what I had to do. I did my duty for Queen and Country. I like that the dog was like... Alright. My boss is going to be like, do you know what the F settle means? Alerting the entire place. Yeah, for a stealth game, I really messed that up. But, we've learned a lot of things, several ways. We're going to do... Uh, we're going to try the second mission. I don't know how well I'll do. And again, this game is called Neon Struct. There will be a link to where you can buy it below. As with all our games here. Oh god, I don't... No, I gotta get back to the up and insertion point. Which is up here. And far away from all these other guys. And I already see a Mr. Glasses over there. Now mind you, not everybody's so peaceful when they detect you. Usually you will get an ass whooping, so don't count on people giving you the benefit of the doubt like that when they say, Nope, see ya. Do not give a fuck, I am gone. I'm quite literally just barreling through this whole fucking game right now to try and be done with it. I'm getting this out of here, and failing miserably, and running around, and trying to get rid of everybody. Haha, uh -huh, bitches! Grade D! Haha! <laughs> Grade D! I did horrible. I'm leaving it. I'll try to do it better uh, later, but you guys gotta understand, I haven't played this game in ages. Not since this game was first released and I played it. I love the uh, the 80s feel of the game though. It's kind of Blade Runner thing. Okay, speak with Rod in his office on the second floor. Alright, so I I'm back at HQ now, so I guess I can not need to break into shit right now. I took them both to this, because that's the kind of guy. Huh. I like to call him Chibber. I think it is Chibber, just with a weird spelling. So we got R&D stuff, and I got other stuff. So first, let's go. Up the fancy stairs to Bernard's office. Then we're gonna go downstairs to R&B and get extra stuff, maybe. The war room. Back in high school, we used to call that uh, the Magic the Gathering room because that's where all the that's where they all played Magic the Gathering. All of them. Back then, kids, that was a big game. What if I went to the wrong place? That's okay. Okay, there he is. The serious pencil looking guy. Hey! Don't be fucking calling me darling and all that shit.
You call me darling. Him in the nuts. My lady is an independent woman. Should have put a ring on it, director. A foot wugger. Here, wugger. Here, wug. I don't know. So is that Vinod? Speak with Vinod. Second floor, okay. So not all the way to the tippy top. Which would have been great if I would have actually read that. Which I did read it. But like an idiot, I was uh, kind of ignoring it, I think. Now this looks like a Fernand office. Or some serious office. I think this is the war room. Okay. Is it the war room? Speaking of which, we gotta do a few more board games on our channel. We, we've got a, a, like eight or nine others that we keep meaning to do when we're done yet. It's the Chibber! The Chibmeister! The Chibs! What's up, Chibmeister? Please do try to avoid causing a commotion next time. We're not getting used to anything. No. Uh, don't let it get you down. Every good agent needs to get somewhere. Did you collect the packet from the dead drop? Yes. Not to get from you. Where did you find it? And yeah, the nightstand and sweet one. Interesting. We'll do a background check on the ritual. Da da da. Alright, I think it's please at a reason. Do you have any questions for me? What do we know about the apartment? It's on the USB drive. Uh, what do we know about the guest? Best guest I bugged. Blah. How are you working, kids? Very really well, thank you. Thank you, I'll be going now. Now he knows how to talk to. Yes. The word break in and tool I like. It is a good it is a good tool to have as a person who deals with the secrets and the the break ins and the cool ninja stuffs and all that that I do. Okay. Now let's go to R and D. R and D was the basement I think. Is that what the secretary lady said? It's a car I Cafeteria, I don't need it. I want some toys, man. I'm a spy. I need spy toys. Spy toys. Okay, let's ask her again. Also, this can go for now. And I need to pick up some gear at the fire range. Armory. Take the stairs on the far right of the lobby. I think right now, thanks. Okay, so the stairs on the far right of the lobby. I'm to the far right of the lobby. Oh, God. There are stairs, clearly. And I'm sober, you guys. That's the scary part. What's going on, engineer? I'm here for my bit. What can I do with the breaking tool? Mm hmm. How do I use the breaking tool? How do I save our security system? Nice. So this is the Hudson Scrambler. Scramblers are really stun enemies and permanently disable security cameras. So to me, I would rather use it for security cameras. It's partially disabling an enemy's okay, but... Oh, okay, so... It's a mini-game. Yo, oh, that alarm is effing annoying. Thank God this is practice. It's not gonna lie, that would have made me test myself. I think I only basically need to get there. We go. So I only need to get it past one of them. I think this is the same thing to do this. It is. But it's kind of fun. I like that it's something different. Yahtzee. Yeah, so the more 
locked and encrypted it is, the more I'll have to do this stuff. Um, now... Yeah. Agent Lady, did you see what I did? Did you see how good I was? Are you proud of me? I did good. So now what do I do? We finish as the receptionist of Kalakar. So now I'm finished, so I have the receptionist Kalakar. Any other thing I can do here? I like that it says unhackable. In case I needed to know. Alright, so I got a... Oh, fuck off. I don't care. Um, and a health stim. Look, I don't mean to be a dick, y'all, but I'm just leaving your shelves, because... I'm gonna need these on my next mission, and... Clearly I suck at most other things in this game. Like the hiding part. The Hudson Scrambler will be my my backup. I also feel like she should be more secure. This is a spy agency. Why is she not like in a bulletproof? You know. Thank you, miss. Oh yeah. I think that's my car, that's me. Wait. Did I miss my car? Does it smell? Okay, so that's my apartment. So I have an apartment. Look, uh, three goods. Yes. So that's pretty good. So they've actually done, uh, and by they, I mean, uh, the designer here has done some neat stuff, I think. Okay, so that's not me. I actually don't know what apartment I am. Oh, 401. We're gonna have a little fun and practice our tool, shall we? Gonna be nosy. I feel like, again, this is just something to help us get used to the game. I feel like later there's probably an alarm in this room, or maybe something where they're like, Hey, what the fuck are you doing in other people's rooms? But right now, they're like, eh, hey, you know, she's a spy lady, she does what she's gotta do, whatever. Forget about it. And I see more money, I would like to know what I can use the money for, please, because that would help. No. I'm helping them conserve their energy bill. They can thank me later. I wonder why some doors are unhackable in this. So that's apartment 301. You see that? See that there? Unhackable? I think that's just the designers like, quit fucking with things and do your objectives. Which I can't blame them because you must know people like me who just play around with every damn thing in the world. I like it even though there's nothing on there. I think it'd be a cool option if you could mod that and put on what you want. That'd be good. Uh, let's be honest, most people just have boobs or porn on it, but... Check voicemail. One new message. I feel like it's your mother, I guess you're out on the time now. Wish you wouldn't stop so late. You're working hard to call it, so I'll have to roll. Talk to you soon. Love you. Bye. Well, that's sweet, then at least your mom calls. Now this song is the one I was telling you of that I really dug. Uh, this is a good song. Yeah, the home conversion. The song is called K Living in case any of you wanna know. So that whole thing so far was just your demo. But I love the art style for this. And then the game actually begins. So that that we were playing so far, this is us now. How's the weather in Atlanta? Please, when I call me Joe, we worked together long enough for that. Very well. Let's read your mission, Joe. And I don't know why she was like that with him because I feel like he's just being professional. Which I appreciate. At some time, the agency had been investigating a man known by the pseudonym Mr. Grayside. He is believed to be. The primary manufacturer of illegal stims in the South. Intelligence you collected from the dead drop in Austin has led us to his location at this compound. 
All right. What is the agency? Uh, let's ask why we're interested. The agency provides services to many clients, so I can't say for sure. But if I had to guess, let's say we were hired by the stims industry to help them shut down illegal competition. It makes illegal stims different than... Uh, da, da, da. Why did we arrange a drop from a stims mall at a political summit? The timing and location was the informant's choice. We had no idea what the intel he would provide. We wrongly assumed it would relate to political matters. But is it so surprising that a politician might have connections to the illegal sin street? No. That might be worth investigating further when I get back to Washington. Okay, so what is my objective? It is straightforward mission. Access Mr. Graysett's private computer network and find any evidence of his involvement in the manufacture <gasps> or sale of illegal stims, list of buyers, suppliers, lab records, anything like that. Got it. Anything else that you know? We've been tracking Mr. Graysett for a long time. And we can't have agency fingerprints on this if anything goes wrong. We're going in on our once again. Thank you. We will know that Mr. Graysett hires a private security staff, so exercise caution. Don't I always? Of course. Good luck, Joe. Let's be honest. No, I don't ever. Oh, those are pigeons. I was like, what the hell? Now, I am going to say this as well. If I remember right, you can actually watch the birds. And if you see them flutter away, you know somebody's coming. So use that. Um, David Pittman has done some very clever things here with this game. Uh, Slayer Shock, by the way, in case you all wonder, you heard me talk about it a little earlier, uh, was kind of a love letter, I think, to like monster hunting, vampire slayer type genre games. Um, again, there's some stealth involved. There are different kinds of missions. It can be all out attack. You can do stealth. There are lots of different things you can do in it. Okay, so we need to get the fuck out of there, basically is what that is. No, go, 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 go this way. Is it accessible? No problem. So we can peek at the security guard in there. Interesting, interesting. I'm curious to see if there's anything at all in here. I might not even need to go to the other place. I might need to go here. Oh, this looks like a bar. Alright. Basically, that's just the intro. news reader thing, I think, into what... Uh, your HUD can do. I don't know if this is my apartment, maybe? No idea. I was just curious to see what was over here, frankly. I'm one of those people that goes off the beaten trail in a game and likes to look around a little and see what else I can do. Two, I want to make sure, I'm not going to lie to you all, that there's no sniper up here. Um, just because I'm unarmed doesn't mean they're unarmed. I know shock batons are the order of the day in this game, so I know at least that happens. What did I tell you all? There's a guy right up here. Oh, no, that would be useful. The stranger clearly isn't an en enemy. He's aware of what I'm doing. So it does seem to play to or play pay to explore in this game. As I assigned a geocation on each level, apparently there are five tokens I can use to distract people. Um, let me read again how to use a geocache thing. Should I need it? I shouldn't need it, but in case I need it. Uh, da, 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 use items, that's that. Right. And the mission is called Shades of Grey, mysteriously. 
Spooky, scary. Two ways I can play this. Obviously, we are opting for quiet. Well, why would you let me go here if there's nothing? I, uh, uh, you know, why I'm betting actually is probably because uh, they know me, and it probably. is to help me it should something go wrong that I can run under that darkness now that was some ninja shit right there if I've ever seen it Well, he's going this way. I'm trying to make sure that I'm going this way and that he doesn't see me. So he seems to basically just walk back and forth. He's a run-of-the-mill security guy. He doesn't seem to walk out there, which is good. And I like that about him. Just to start off with, I don't need Tyra to get my ass kicked three minutes into this mission. We're trying to be a lot more secure and quiet this time. Now, that said, you want to drop your bodies in areas where not everybody can see them, because if security chase you and see the body, they freak the F out. Obviously. You know, like they would. Uh, so we're trying to avoid that here, so we're going to drop him here. But oh, damn! That dump cracks me up, I'm not going to lie. Now we're going to walk a little. And then we're going to drop it like it's hot. I don't say that because my lady's a lady. Come on, I'm an equal opportunity uh, person of interest. Okay, I got the key card for the front door. Let's peek around and make sure that I'm not walking into anything deadly right off the bat. Okay, so see already there. Already there. There's a interest in what the F that was. So let's make sure that they lose that interest, shall we? They're not going to see the security guard I fell. I think I see them there near that window. See them? That's them there. So we're going to keep watching. I can not think they're going back. So, crisis averted, but we do need to be more careful of this stuff. So step one is going to be finding a nice dark spot when we first get in. So we want to listen for footprints. I don't know what kind of shoes they're wearing to be so damn loud. Shit! Alright. We're gonna definitely start this level. Just keep calm, baby. Keep calm. Smooth moves. Smooth little baby moves. Smooth moves like a little baby. There you go. Smooth moves. Let's just keep this shit calm. Just keep it all calm. Don't freak. There's no reason to freak. 
Creek. I'm going to put him up here. Bam! I feel like I'm giving these dudes concussions. I mean, am I the only one? Just loud. I'm not going to lie to you. I wouldn't be shocked if there's another dude up there. Um, what do you guys think of this one so far? You guys like this one? Drop a comment. Subscribe if you haven't, by the way. And do tell your friends about us. Uh, although we have a few hundred subscribers now, which thank you guys, by the way. It means a lot to me. I'll be honest. I never thought our channel would even get there. So the fact that it did is pretty amazing, I think. I'm quite proud of that. I am. And let's be honest, it's certainly not my jokes. You know, if anybody's to think for that, it's someone else. It's certainly not me. I want to see what security does with this open door. I want to see if they go in there or not. Somebody's moving quicker. Double timing it, I think. Shit. That's going to be a problem. Maybe it is. Maybe it's not. Don't open that door, please. Now, if you're wondering why I'm moving so damn slow, it's because I have a security guard on my person. So of course I'm going to be moving slower. God, did you all see that one right there? Look at that shit. So here's how we're gonna work this. We gotta be quick, baby. Got to be quick. She's still not sure what's going on there. Plus side. Oh, you dumbass. On the plus side, although it's taking me a while to get all these in one room, uh, that's that's not bad. I don't like that there's one of them that's slightly alerted to my presence that bothers me, but at least it's not a exclamation point. That's when shit's gone bad. So you don't want that one. I think the game is bugged, because I believe this lady should like come out, but she's not. She's right there. So what I'm gonna do here is open this door. You can see what I'm doing there, right? Basically trying to goad her into making a move. I feel like she's bugged. I 
That's right, if she's stuck there, she's stuck there. Kinda hoping she is stuck there. Because we're gonna try and get past this lock container. And see how we do. I feel like this game is fairly arcanoid. Alright, there we go. I'm just gonna leave her as is. Just to see what happens if I try to like sneak up on her here. Now she's going somewhere else completely, so no 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 no. She's coming back. We're just gonna fucking take her down and head out with her ship. Really? I was a damn ninja with that bitch until then. And you put me back here? Unbelievable. Well, I'm not changing how I'm doing this. We're doing it the same way. Apparently, I'm changing it. See how much I jumped from that? That was ridiculous. Okay. So, we're basically sitting and waiting, letting one agent go in and then the other. Um, this is quite a long game, actually. Uh, so much so that I'll tell you what I'm doing. We're going to call this here. You guys can tell me what you would do in this situation. Am I on the right path? Would you guys have handled this one different? I'm saying... What I would do is trap that lady in that room, get the other lady out of the way, drag her way off like I did, come back and finally finish out the other lady. I know it gets me less points, but it's better than setting off a single alarm. That gets you the least amount. Anyways, I am Bones. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Something different for you guys. Uh, and thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. You guys have a great day. And subscribe if you haven't already and give us a like.